Hello there, welcome back to another Sims 4 video of mine. Now, there's been an update, uh, literally an update just today, today as in the 1st of October 2014, and the update uh, seems to have changed some things. Uh, I'm not sure if you can tell, but the symbols, like the... Uh, like these little symbols above, they appear, they appear to be a little bit bigger. So yeah, it's... I don't know if that's me, but it's... Uh, they're a bit bigger. One thing also I noticed that was a little bit bigger are these buttons. <laughs> now, before they were quite small really to click on, so... Uh, Making these a little bit bigger, I think, is a bit of an improvement because they were like dinky little things before. So, uh, here we go. Let's play. Right, uh, something uh, I failed to mention uh, just before we started was that. Yes, I uh, I moved. In fact, I didn't just move. I uh, built my own house. Uh, but technically not built it because I sort of selected certain rooms from the build menu and put them together, <laughs> sort of thing. Uh, I've, I've made them slightly bigger. Uh, and put my own because obviously you get to keep your own furniture when you move I'll put that in as well so there's my guy old uh, Flabadar um, and actually there are a few things that I need to update you with right so before we get that started uh, let me show let me show you my new home so as you probably noticed this is in the uh, the desert region oasis springs that uh, i decided to move to it's uh, basic <laughs> nothing but too fancy or uh, too spectacular it's like i just basically got the rooms and like stuck them next to each other uh, which i will now show you um uh, <laughs> The problem with uh, with this is here's a bit of a pro tip for you. Make sure you know what kind of layout you want before putting them down. It will save you a lot of money. I still want to move this around. Uh, I've got the dining room down here. Now I wanted to move that up to there where the living room is. I wanted to put the living room down there, but the problem is, I will need to move uh, the dining room over there somewhere. But if I did, that would cost money. Um, and what I wanted to do was put the, the kitchen next to the dining room, so that people could not just walk through. If you know what I mean, I kind of. This is why I said it might be a good idea maybe not to buy these rooms <laughs> it's e it's easy enough you know you, you just buy the room you just plonk it down it make them a little bit bigger if you need to um but you probably are better building your own house because then you can just build the rooms and then decide what those rooms are for i kind of messed it up a bit and uh yeah this is what i was left with Actually, one thing I want to do while uh, while we're sort of talking about uh, designing and stuff, I want to actually now um, let's press this. Okay, I need to have the walls up. Oh, that's right. There's no door. The, this is the thing, you get a door with some rooms, but not with all of them. Uh, the, the bedroom, you get a door. And the study, you get a door. 
but you don't for the living room uh, or the dining room or the kitchen. You get a door with the uh, the bathroom. Strange, but there you go. So anyway, let's uh, do what I was just about to do. I want to move that light down to there because one of the things... Uh, can I... Oh, right. It is that I see people that well, that just can you not? No, what, what is it you press to just sell it? Like, be, not click and then sell. Is there a way that I seem to see people kind of just click on the thing and like instantly sell it? I don't know how you do that. So, I'll, if anybody that watches you can. Uh, can let me know. Um, I would be rather grateful um, <laughs> because I uh, I don't know how to do that. So I, I, I haven't really gone into that kind of thing. It was probably in like the hints and tips or whatever, but I didn't get it. So anyway, what I do know what to do and what I want to do is starting from. I don't know, let's come back a little bit. Starting from there, I want to do, 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 if I can, can I get rid of that wall? Yes, haha. -ha! Yes, that's what I wanted to do. It's actually giving me a little bit of money back as well. Gosh, because uh, I watched, <laughs> this is the thing, I watched a video uh, on YouTube, as you do, and I noticed how that it, it was kind of a similar house in a way. I noticed they'd got like a hallway, but then I noticed the living room kind of just I don't know what the phrase would be just sort of went like that and uh, it was open. <laughs> Sorry, I'm crap with words. You wouldn't think it, you know, I mean, it is me. Kind of have a gaming website, well, blog or whatever. And I am crap with words. I I will be straightforward with it and say I am crap with words. Uh, but when it comes to explaining stuff, I am just so hopeless. Bit of a bit embarrassing sometimes. <laughs> Uh, especially, with, I mean, here's me making uh, you know, YouTube videos, and I'm, I'm trying to keep you enthralled and interested, and and, and every now and then I'm like, uh, uh, oh, oh, what's the word? Uh. So anyway, uh, that's that done. I wanted to get that done. That something that I wanted to do. Basically. So anyway, back to the layout of house and stuff. Let's go back into live mode. Um. Right, so let me pause it. So, here's the punch bag. I'll put these uh, outside because they are energising, and obviously, when you want him to, when you want your guy to work out on that, uh, you want to keep him energised so he can keep going for a bit longer. Now, this is a problem as well. Um, oh, and there's my uh, microscope. I mean, seriously, microscope. I thought it was just a little thing that you would put on a desk or a table. No, it's a thing you actually sit down and it sort of goes... I think you may have seen it in another video, the previous one. Um, right, that, that, that's my study, which this cost the most. This is like 10,000 simoleons worth of room right there. Just go back into build mode. I want to move that out there, just like, just like that. So there's that. Right. Uh, as you can probably see by my guy there, he's quite muscular now because he's been working out and that. But this was one of the things I don't know if I mentioned uh, in a previous video about. Although my well, guy's kind of, you know, all muscly and stuff, uh, he's kind of still got a belly. 
this is something that shouldn't happen. I mean, he's got the six pack going on and uh, um, whatever. Um, you yeah, know, got the muscles, the six pack. And I guess from the front, you know, it kind of looks all buff and stuff. Uh, but from the side, he's still got that sort of podgy belly. This is what I was saying. Well, I'll say this is what I was saying. That it was probably a bit that I uh, cut out of a video when I was saying about uh, when you create your sim, if you create your sim with a bit of a belly, that belly doesn't go away. As you can see, despite how muscular and how fit he, he looks, uh, he's still got the six pack and all that, but he's still got the big belly. That was something I was hoping would go away. I don't know if there's a way that I can do that. Um, not sure if you... Is there a, some kind of reward that you can get? Uh, let me think, no, that, that's... Uh, Simology... Uh, stats, now that's... That's that, we saw all that before. Um, I'm not sure, because you've got the reward store, those points, uh, the what you get by doing stuff. Um, actually, if I just look at potions, um, let me see, focused, happy, inspired, sleep replacement, insta large, drink this to become a bigger you, insta lean. That could, hmm, I think that that could possibly make my guy a, a sort of a normal size, if you know what I mean. Uh, shall I go for it? I mean, I've got enough points. Uh, okay. Are you sure you want to purchase Instaline for 750 reward points? We'll put it this way, if it cost actual real, uh, real, real world money, no, I wouldn't buy it, but because it's in-game reward points, then I will. <laughs> uh, traits, uh, always welcome, Jim Rat Observant. There are a few of these that uh, I want to, to redeem. I mean, obviously at the moment, I can't afford some because I've just spent those, but... Uh, there are, oops, excuse me. Bumping the desk. Uh, there are some I don't think uh, would change him in that way. If you know, if you know what I'm fine. So right, let's have a look in the inventory now. Ah, what's that? That's the insta lean, right? Okay. So if I click on that and get him to drink that, then once we start the game up properly, as in unpause it. Ah, another quick uh, update about with more My Sims dolls. Um, quite a few more now. Doctor F, uh, Hopper, Jenny. Lindsay, Buddy I already had, Yuki I already had, and I think it was Poppy that I had before as well. So, so that's it, you're pretty much up to date with my inventory there, which, uh, I don't know if you're interested in that, but there you go, I'll just show you anyway. <laughs> so, here we go, let's get him to, uh, to drink that potion, and let's see what happens. Okay, here he goes. Uh, well, he's drank it and he's washing the cup up in the sink there. Um, oh, oh. Wow, yes! That is the result that I was looking for. Let me just pause that a moment. Uh, let's just pause that, right. Oh, yes, that is better. Now then, thank you. <laughs> it was just because I had kind of based his body 
a bit like mine. I mean, I, like I said, pretty much in the first episode of this uh, Sims 4 series, I am not exactly the slimmest of people. I do have a bit of a belly on me, and so I kind of based my guy uh, roughly on my... I, I maybe made him a bit bigger than me, but that was by mistake. It, it was kind of rough to, to judge. But now, that is a lot better. I feel more satisfied now. I mean, it might sound silly that I am glad that he has become that much leaner, but let's see. But it seems. Oh, okay, so yeah, but there's still that little bit there. That's better though. That is a lot better than I was. Uh, than me being all fat and muscular because this was the thing you seem to work out as much as possible and for some reason uh, he didn't actually seem to lose the weight it was as if muscle was being put on top of the weight uh, once again if you if you had been following me on Twitter you'd have probably seen me say that because that's the kind of things I do. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't have been playing the game because I like to keep all res resources uh, on this whole laptop to playing the game as best as I can. Um, and it actually seems to be running quite well. Um, this one is going to remain virtually unedited. Uh, I'm going to try, because I want to keep this one because it's more of a kind of update thing that I want to let you fine folks know what's going on with my sim and his life. Uh, I'm going to keep this one, as I say, virtually unedited. So I'm not going to waffle on as much as I usually do. Uh, right, so let's get him to clean that up. What time is it? Ah, right, that's why people are walking about. Okay. Um, alright, so nobody will be coming to visit uh, just yet. Uh, what's he going to do? That's it, go and have some food. Because it's breakfast time. Let me show you uh, in the relations here. There's been a bit of a drastic change in relations. Um... I say drastic change. Uh, well, you'll see in a moment. Uh, for some reason, yeah, it, it seems a bit slow loading up. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that my hard drive is running slower than it should. Uh, this is why things take a while to load. And it doesn't help that I'm also recording, so that takes a bit of processing power. Now, as you can see, Charity, she hasn't been around much, uh, so we've kind of lost some friendship there. Dakota, I am guessing, is Chloe's son, because uh, she invited me over to hang out, and I did. Uh, oh, look, he's disappeared. Ah, there he is. <laughs> uh, where are you going? Flub it up! Flubber dub, there you go again. Anyway, um, so yeah, I kind of spent the weekend at Chloe's, and that's where I got uh, a fair bit of stuff in the inventory from, such as, such as uh, discovering some more of the My Sims figures. Um, I don't, I think I may have got a stone or something from there. Uh, I've got that one. Well, three of those. Oh, excuse me, a little bit of wind in my belly. Oh, more frogs, as you may be able to see. A striped leaf, and I think you saw that one. Eggplant whirl. Uh, the leaf frog, two of those now. A spotted leaf frog. And the striped eggplant, right, yeah. I've got a, a couple of... Well, a couple of... How many have I got there? Two, four, uh, six, eight... Oh, jeez few. Anyway, 
Back to the relationships. <laughs> uh, the thing was, I saw Maya. Uh, she was at, uh, at the gym, as usual, and we got talking and stuff. And so I invited her over. We got talking and, well, things progressed and we are now soulmates. Now, what I didn't realise is, when you see Maya in all her, her gym clothes, like that, the, the tracksuit and the cap and the glasses, what you don't realise is underneath all that, she is actually quite nice. And so, uh, yeah, I've, Chloe's become uh, a bit more friends again. She's uh, always a bit sort of temperamental. She kind of like, yeah. You don't really know where you are with her sometimes. She'll come and visit. Next thing you know, she's like not visiting or I don't know. Just you, you don't know where you stand with her sometimes. She, oh, and speaking of Maya, there she is. She's come come to visit. Uh, let me give her a heartfelt compliment. And this is what I was saying. Uh, Oh, uh, where are you going, Flubbadar? Oh. Oh, oh, let me pause it so that I... That's better. <laughs> so that I can actually, like, you know, move around and do something without him walking around and whatever. Now, when you look from a bit of a distance and you think, well, that tracksuit looks a bit drab, that cap is really like that the glasses it's as if she's some kind of celebrity trying to kind of hide you know uh, but when i looked a bit closer i thought you know what she actually looks rather nice and as you may have been able to see from there she is actually rather attractive and so uh, yeah <laughs> it's kind of good boy Chloe, hello Maya. So uh, yeah, we're, we're kind of a thing now. Um, and what I didn't, what I did notice actually, let's, let's bring that up again. Uh, it looks like Chloe's glasses there are blue. That's possibly. A graphical glitch or something. Uh, I don't know because things have been going a little bit funny in the game lately. So, uh. but anyway, yeah, um, we're kind of actually like more lovers than we are friends. <laughs> How that works, I don't know. Uh, I mean, that was the thing when I watched it, someone else's video. Um, that they went on a date and they actually became almost like full lovers before they uh, became full friends if you know what I mean and you'll have to excuse that noise in the background that's uh, somebody hoovering up <laughs> if you if you were that you probably will if you've got headphones on you'd probably uh, Oh, here we go. Uh, the Royal to Report. Apps. Da, 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 da. Games. Oh dear, that one's not doing very well, is it? So, uh, oh, here comes Zoe again. Yeah, I'll call the game Loading Screen. <laughs> I mean, really, it doesn't matter what you call them. Uh, but yeah, like I say, Zoe keeps turning up. And... Uh, Expecting to talk and whatever, but she, like, they, they always seem to turn up when I'm at work. Can't exactly interact with them while I'm not here. And what that also does is it stops the time from zooming by because they're like there. I mean, it's like with Maya, she's uh, playing with my microscope and. Uh, yeah. Ah, no. 
I don't know why this has come up because this came up before, so I know what to do. But uh, speaking versus skiing, Flabadal's assistant has booked him to give the keynote at a prominent executives only event, uh, right during his annual men's ski day. Flabadar can keep the speaking engagement or invent a more dire conflict. What you are best to do is keep the engagement. As it says, this time work comes first. Flobadar delivers a thought-provoking keynote that generates great press for his company and then makes up for the lost vacation day with a few indulgent after parties. Performance gain, small. It's only a small performance gain. But then again, it's better than well, suffering consequences from uh, whatever. But there we go. Um... I think I'd, I'm going to leave it there for this uh, this little update. Uh, it's, it, the update was mainly to do with saying, oh, look, I've moved uh, home. Um, you might think, well, why did you move there? Well, uh, well, goodbye, Mayor. Goodbye, Mayor. See you later. <laughs> I moved here because this plot is the same size as a couple of other plots, but it's the cheapest. This plot only costs 1,500 simoleons. It's a size 20 by 30. Now, for other plots, I think the next uh, cheapest was... I think 2000 or 2500. So basically, to get this at this cheap, because you want to buy a cheap plot so that you've got more money for buy building your house, basically, and like furnishing it, of course. You need furnishings because how are you going to like, you know, sleep, go to the bathroom, and stuff like that? Um, so anyway, yeah, like I say, I will leave it there for now. Uh, that's the update. Um, sorry it wasn't that exciting. I didn't really do a lot. Uh, but in the next video, I will be doing things. Um, and I shall be doing things with me. But not that kind of thing. That's already been done. You've seen the woo-woo, so it's not going to be anything like that. So... Uh, <laughs> Please join me next time. Uh, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, like the video, please, if you would, and subscribe for more. But for now, see you next time, and bye!